everyone. Well, tonight, it's the one a lot of people have been waiting for. It is the framing video of the unicorn. And I will show you how to use these DIY frames. I will link the link to the frames down below in the description. And I will also link the, the diamond painting kit down in the description as well. So uh, if you would like to order one of these, they, uh, they come very quickly. Uh, I, as I said in the video of, uh, about these, uh, I got them in, oh, I want to say I ordered them on June 2nd, and I received them on June 18th, so I got them very quickly. They shipped out the very next day after I ordered, and I ordered a custom size, and I'll explain to you here in a little while why I ordered that custom size. And uh, Hank wants to investigate my desk. <laughs> He's never seen the desk this cleared off before. Uh, I need all the room I can get for this video. So, yeah, I cleared the desk off. Got some junk drills kind of sticking around here too, as you see. So, yeah, I will show you here in a few minutes why I ordered the custom size. However, we're going to start off with um, opening this up, and you'll get to see what's inside of these kits. These, uh, this is a DIY framing kit. It's canvas stretching framing. Um, first thing I'm going to do is slice through this foam wrapping with the wrapping that they have around it. Yeah, Hank, you might want to move, buddy. And the, uh, it is very well wrapped in foam, so there's usually not going to be any kind of issue with it. Hank, stop. He's trying to get the, I don't know if you can see that or not, it's, it's got multiple layers of foam wrapping there around the inside. Oh, I just knocked that over. Yeah, I'm knocking things over on my desk. I actually need a bigger, I have a huge workspace and I actually need a bigger workspace, believe it or not. Just not big enough. Okay. Yeah. Let's fix that a little bit since I'm not actually using it anyway. So yeah, these are very well packaged, as you see. It's uh, multiple layers of foam. I don't know why it's so bright. I've actually tried closing my window, and I had the very bare minimum of lights on in the house, but for whatever reason, I have a lot of glare. Okay. Ooh, smells good. It smells like nice fresh cut wood. This is what comes inside the kit. Mm, throw that off to the side and your hand can play with that. This is what comes inside of the kit. You've got your instructions. And it just shows you very quick. It's only a four-step process, really. Um, very, very simple and easy. I would recommend a hammer. Uh, I do have one of those. Let me go grab that out of the closet real quick. Okay. It's not in the closet. I don't know where my hammer went. <laughs> uh, I hear you, Hank, buddy. I don't know where my hammer went. I had it missing okay we can do this without the hammer um, pretty simple actually so what comes in it is your four sticks and you see they've got a groove on the inside here like right along here and it's got an adhesive backing around this the top here and all the way down the one side and down the other side and it's got one Let me see if I can get it straight there where you can see it. Okay, you'll see one side is like kind of rounded right here. And the other side is flat and straight. The rounded side goes towards the inside of your painting. So, what I ordered for this one, and this is the unicorn, I measured it out with the tape measure. And it is 70 
by 69 and a half millimeters. So I should have two longer ones here and two shorter ones. So let me get them in the camera view there. And there's my two shorter ones. All right. So now before I had 69 by it's a 69 and a half by 70 is what I told them I needed and then it comes with your four little brace pieces for the corners which you'll see those put in here in a little bit that's what you really need the hammer for uh, is to put these in and also it comes with the little packet of connector things it comes with four big staples, which you can pretty much hand press down into it. If you'll see when you turn it up on its side here, uh, after you roll the painting up on there, you'll see there's a little slit in it right there. And the staple will just go across the corner, right down into the slit on this and the slit on the side, uh, the other piece. So yeah, all right, there's the four pieces. And like I said, they're all alike. We've got two 69 and a halfs and two 70s and that's it that's all that's in the kit very very easy to use very very simplistic um, of course now here is the completed diamond painting I'm sure you all got a chance to see it oops bumped in the tripod there I'm sure everybody got a chance to see it, it is the unicorn now, as I said, I measured this, and I measured print area only, only the print area. And it is coming out to oops, I need centimeters. Thank you. Flip it over. This one is 70 on the dot, side to side. Of course, you can't see that in the camera. Um, so that means. If I go to the top, top to bottom, it is 69 and a half dead on the money. From diamond edge to diamond edge. So, I know it's 69 and a half up and down, 70 by 70 across. So now what I will do is I will flip the diamond painting over upside down now you want to make sure you roll this I have not sealed this diamond painting you want to make sure you you uh, you rolled it over really good with a uh, uh, a rolling pin and try to get all the crud off the back if there's anything stuck to it um, it's in very good condition I it's there's not even a wrinkle in this whole canvas which it's, it's just amazing I love it now, I said it was 69 and a half top to bottom, so that's my two shorter ones. So I will grab those and lay them on the sides. Now, when you put them down, you want the rounded side. You see how the one side is rounded, like that. It's hard to get it straight on the camera for you to actually see it. Yeah, there it is. You'll see there's one straight flat side and one rounded side like that. You're going to put the rounded side, this side, towards the center of the canvas like that. Now, this should line up just as such. Now, what you want to do is you want to actually make a mark on your canvas. Using a regular pen will work. Uh, you don't want anything too permanent. Uh, yeah, I've got one in my pocket. So what you want to do is you want to actually, I use my light pad for this. I put my light pad underneath. And then I can see the edge of the drill field on the light pad. Uh, let's see it on this side so I can see it better. 
there we go. You can see the edge of the drill field on the light pad right there. There's the corner. So what I do is I put a mark going this way at the very corner. And then I put a mark going that way on the very corner. So that way you can see where the corner is without having a light pad on. And I will do that on all four corners. have an A3 light pad coming tomorrow. It's, it's scheduled to be delivered tomorrow. Tracking still says it's in transit from Chicago to here. And it's been in transit from Chicago to here since Friday. So we'll wait and see if it actually shows up tomorrow. And there we go. I've got my corners done marked. See that? Just little, little L's on the corners, basically. <clears throat> now what I'll do is I'll take my I'll take my short pieces and, like I said, put the rounded side towards the canvas, and I will line that up even with this mark if you see let me bring that down a little bit for you there we go look at that okay now you can see it better you see how I have it on this mark here well, it's, it'll match up to the same mark on the top. So that way they're both even, which they are. And then you want to line up the, the corner, or this bottom side, with this mark here. Just like I have it there. And then you'll mark, do the same thing at the top end. <clears throat> Once that's done, you can then peel your, peel off your adhesive. And it is super, super sticky. It's actually stickier than the adhesive on diamond paintings. <laughs> See how it's nice and smooth on there? <clears throat> it's very super sticky. And then what you're going to do is you are going to place this, like I said, rounded side towards the canvas as such. And you're going to place it down. And stick it on. And see now it's it'll stick. It'll stick right on there for you. And if you can pull it up if you have to, uh, it won't hurt it. It's it's super sticky, but it's not permanent until you've really bound it on there. Good. And stretched your canvas out. There. Now it's stuck good. Just kind of give it a good press. And there you go. Now when you roll that up, you'll see that your first row of drills will not roll with it. And it's on the outside of that first row of drills. Now you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Make sure it lines up. And it lines up perfectly. Alright, and you just want to peel that adhesive off there, and then it comes off in a separate piece right here, and it wants to investigate what's outside, of course, Hank, stop. There we go. All 
right, buddy. I need you to move. Get up in the window. There you go. Yeah, get up there. Ah, there you go. All right, now this one is going to go in the same spot. Now, if the leftover canvas edge between the drill and the edge of the canvas isn't as wide as the adhesive, don't worry about that. Um, you'll be perfectly fine. Um, right now, this side over here is not. As you see, right here, I've got that much space left. It will still work. Um, okay, you can just peel it up, and there's your there's your canvas. See, now that's going to stand up like that, and that side will stand up over there. Now we're going to put our cross pieces on that go across. So let me wind you back up. So now you see I have. There you go. I now have all four, or have two of them on either side now. And those will roll up to the side like that. Now, I'm going to do the top. Top, you do the same way. You kind of move it in and butt it up against those like that. And you're going to leave that little tab sticking out in the corner like that. See, you're going to have corner to corner on the wooden boards because when you fold them up, they're going to come together like that. And you're going to fold that tab in between. So we know this one will fit. So I can go ahead and take off the uncover the adhesive. And there it is. And we're going to put rounded side in. And we're just going to line up our marks like we did on the other one. Like that. And press it down. Get a good seal on the canvas. And as I said, you, it's going to stick it to your table a little bit, but you just got to pull it up on the corner. Keep everything tight, too, when you do this. Don't leave any wrinkles. All right, now. I'm ready to fold the tops and the sides up. Uh, I'm ready to, well, no, I'm not. I'm going to do the bottom too. And so now the bottom is done the same way the top and the sides is done. So you see you have your marks here and here. This will go actually a lot quicker if I wasn't having to slow down and explain it. Uh, I would actually have it done by now. <laughs> It's that quick. And there's the adhesive exposed, the rounded side in. And now we're just going to line up our corners and our little marks. And that's got it perfect right there. Now, all you do is you roll up your sides and your bottom. And here I will bring you down closer on this one so you can see how one corner is done. Okay, there you go. And when I roll these up, well this one here I've got to unstick from the desk real quick. Once you got it down there it sticks. <laughs> You've got to really pull it up to get it off the desk. but. I don't know of any other way to do that because the canvas doesn't overhang the edge. Ideally, the company suggests having a three inch, or I'm sorry, three centimeters uh, of bare white canvas around the sides of your painting. Uh, but you as well as I know that uh, through AliExpress, a lot of the times you're not going to have that luxury of having that much leftover canvas around the sides. So, you know, this will have to do. So what you do is you're going to fold this up, and what you're going to do is take your finger and just kind of fold that in and fold it in really tight on both sides like that. See how I folded your canvas in between the two pieces, 
and then just stick it together like that because you're stretching that canvas all right there we go yeah my fingers getting stuck on there pretty good and then you're gonna take your little packet that's open here you're gonna get one of the staples out and you can put the staples down in that little slot right there and you can push them down by hand and that holds your corner together just like that and now you're gonna do the other side the same way you're gonna fold it up and you're gonna make sure that your flat your excess canvas there folds in really tight in that corner and then you're just going to fold it up to meet each other. The adhesive that's in between on that little angled piece should help it uh, hold together. But the staple is there to actually help it hold together best. So you just put the staple in there. And you should be able to push it down again by hand on each side. There it goes. And now we're just going to flip it around and do the other side. Okay. Fold your flap in really nice and tight. Make sure it's stretching that canvas really good. Pull it up, make the corners meet, grab another staple. No, I don't. I, I, those I don't know what they are. I throw them away because I have no idea what they are. <laughs> and put your staple into the two holes that are pre sliced there. And Push them down so that they help hold it together. <clears throat> there it goes. That's perfect. That looks great. Now, the last corner, which I should have... I kind of, sort of... Shouldn't have put that one in yet because I needed to do the other corner. So now I'm going to have to pry that staple out of there with some scissors or something. Yeah, they pull out a pair of pliers because I was supposed to do this corner too. <laughs> at the same time. All right. There we go. Now I pull it up. Okay. Staple that corner. Yeah, I'm holding these together while I'm putting the staple in. That way it just guarantees that they hold together. Um, eventually the adhesive on the corner here will, that's inside that corner, will catch hold. And, but it, right now it's not holding real well at first, which is normal. These aren't perfect, folks. They're great. I love them. I will do most of my diamond paintings like this now. And now you put that in there like that. In that corner, there we go. Now you see my, my corners are all done there. And now, I don't know what these are. I honestly do not know what these are. They come in every kit, two of them in every kit. And I've yet to figure out what they're used for. If anybody knows, leave a comment. <laughs> because I've got no clue. 
I just throw them away because if not, Hank will chew on them and they've got little nails that you can push through and they stick out that bottom side. And as you see that, there, there's the heads of the nails. I, I, I imagine there's some kind of a hanging thing. I, I don't know. I really don't know. But when you're all done, you have a completed framed diamond painting. It's wrapped around there. It's stuck to that adhesive. Now, I, do I leave it like this? No. No, I won't leave it like this. Um, the adhesive here on this corner is starting to roll and peel a little bit. Um, it's stuck on there really well. It's just not on this section of the wood right here, but it is down here. Um, but you see your corners are nicely folded inside there. Now what I will normally do, you can go around and put coat that ugly edge there, all of that, with, um, you can coat that with uh, your favorite washi tape or whatever. But that's a completed frame diamond painting. Now, it's not completely done. Um, these here, I'll show you these real quick. Scroll you back down there real quick. There you go. These here go in the slots. You see the slotted sides here? They go inside these slots, these slotted sides like this and there. And then you use a hammer to kind of just tap them in to make sure they're tight. And they are, they do fit in there really tight. But you really don't even need a hammer. You can push them in there by hand and like that. It just braces that corner up a little bit better. <clears throat> I'm gonna do that around all four corners. Now when you get done doing this, like I said, I haven't sealed it yet. So you might want to go look it over uh, when you're done doing this because you have moved it around a lot. You bent it like around the edge there. Like right here, I had a drill fall off. And you can't really see it like that. You see right there, I had a drill popped off. Um, you're gonna do that because you are stretching it pretty tight. I mean, it's, it's stretched on there really tight. So you're going to have some drills might pop off around the edges. So uh, if you happen to find them laying like that one there, I found laying on the desk. So I can actually put it back on. Um, at this point now, I will seal it. Once it's all framed, now I will go do the sealing. And I will also take, like I said, you can go around the edge with your favorite washi tape. My preference is I like to I like to do my edges uh, or I like to do around my edges with acrylic paint. Uh, first I will take this duck brand. It's the duck transparent tape and I will wrap around that edge all the way around the, the side and then I will cut it off and uh, cut off the excess around the back or whatever and then I will just paint over that with acrylic paint that gives you that extra layer of protection to help hold that canvas down on the bottom here like on this right here it helps hold that canvas down it gives you an extra layer of hold down which I really like or if you really wanted to you could go around with a staple gun and staple that down I don't see it's needed to be done. Um, I haven't had to do it on any of my other ones. Now, yes, it does. When you first put it on there like this, it will kind of peel up some. You just kind of got to go around the side. Like right there, I've got a little spot where it peeled up. Just got to go around the side and make sure it's pushed down really good. Uh, before I did this, I did take all of the excess double-sided adhesive off the side here. Uh, I did that as I was going with the diamond painting. So it's, there's no double-sided adhesive hanging over the edge of the, from the drill field over to the edge like, the, like it came that way. So yeah, that's it. That is a 
framed diamond painting. I am not going to show you the method I use for the acrylic glue here, or the acrylic paint. Uh, I went to Michael's, I bought, uh, I don't even know how much it was, I think. Oh, I think maybe it was, it's the 24 piece acrylic set. Um, it comes with, oh, it's got metallic and fluorescence, so it's got a metallic red, metallic orange, metallic cobalt blue, metallic blue, old gold, and metallic black. And then it's got metallic white, more metallic red, metallic lemon yellow, metallic green, metallic purple, and silver. And then inside here, it's also got metallic white, silver, old gold, copper, bronze, metallic black. And then I've also got the neon colors of neon pink, neon orange, neon yellow, neon green, neon blue, and neon purple. I could have swore I had more Michael's acrylics, but I don't think I do. Maybe only ones I bought. Yeah. So in this one here, I will probably use either a metallic blue around the edges. Or I might mix up a metallic light blue. I don't know yet. Maybe even go with a metallic pink all the way around the edge. Is what I'm thinking I might do. Which, you know, just mix your metallic red, metallic white. Get a metallic pink. Really pretty. Uh, I even bought the little, you know, mixing set. Uh, that came with the spatulas and stuff like that from Michaels as well. Like your little mixing palette. Like that. And there was a square one and some spatulas and stuff like that that came in it. Yeah, and, oh yeah, one of these, like this. Which, you know, got some... Actually, I think I spilled some wine on my desk and I dripped some on there, so I gotta clean that. Got spilled wine. <laughs> wine drippings. that's how you do it the DIY canvas stretcher kits from Aliexpress uh, they're very inexpensive I think for this custom size 69 and a half by 70 I think I paid $13 for the for the, the frame so it's a very affordable framing option and as you see, it's really easy to hang because it's got right there. You just need two nails in the wall, right there, right there. Hang it up and it hangs right on the wall, nice and flat. You don't have all that excess frame area around here with the matting and the frame and everything that makes it bigger than the actual image. So it takes up less wall space. And there you go. Yeah, Hank, I see you back there. Hank is like checking it out. Yep, there you go. I finished framed diamond painting with DIY canvas stretchers. So as I said, I will down below, I will link the where I got the canvas stretchers in AliExpress. And I will also link this diamond painting for you. And until I see you all again, rock on y'all.